And we're here to talk to you today about how to optimize your morning wellness. We understood from both the COPD Foundation videos as well as testimony this morning from COD, COPD patients that often you might wake up feeling suffocated or that transition from sleep to wakefulness is the most difficult part of the day where you can't breathe and you've got blockage and you then have to take medication and how do you take medication when you can't breathe? So we wanted to focus on the nighttime sleep and give you a better opportunity for sleep, taking technologies that exist today and putting them together into one modular system to give you a better night's sleep. Starting with a modification of a CPAP or a BiPAP type of a machine, adding to that the ability to deliver oxygen, variable delivery of oxygen during the inhalation cycle based on the uh, O2 saturation levels that the pulse oximeter will pick up either out of the ear or out of the nose in the system. And then the, the ability to, to deliver medication as well through the nebulizer that's built into this to deliver that medication while you're sleeping, while you're breathing naturally. Uh, with a standardized input would take today's nebulizer, but also adapt to the K-cup of the future uh, for, for that tomorrow as well. And then adding to that in the exhalation area, a type, a type of techni uh, technique to, to help expel out that's more of the CO2, whether it's a compression of the diaphragm or of the chest that's combined or negative uh, passage of the airways. So in addition to that, we have a radar box that sits on the counter uh, uh, on your nightstand that monitors your sleep cycle. Where are you in your sleep cycle? So it will wake you up at that point right before your REM starts in, the, uh, in at that part of the cycle. So we can then also monitor this through uh, how the oxygen goes, your inhalation, your exhalation, you deliver the medication with the goal of getting this nightstand sized modular box shrunk down to a helmet or a head uh, head size that would fit into a beanie and then it would be self-contained and now you've got freedom of movement and mobility so you're not tied to uh, a tube. Uh, really the goal for here is to, to tap into helping patients that are gold three or four level or anybody who has challenges or difficulty with making that transition from sleep to wakefulness. Thank you.